We are checking out Solar Clowns. This sounds like a GTR. To be fair, that does sound pretty good. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are checking out Solar Clowns. I mean, sorry, Test Drive Solar Crown. Um, I have just got the game, and in today's video, I'm going to show you everything wrong with Solar Crown, Solar, Solar Clown, Solar Drives. All right, everything that I've found so far that I don't like and think it's a little bit annoying, all right? So first things, oh my God, there's people. I, that's the first time I've saw any people and it's outside a nightclub of some kind. So the AI are a bit janky, okay? Like, let me follow these AI. They're a bit janky. Like, this guy keeps brake checking me. What is it? Because I've got an Alpine. Oh, he keeps brake checking for some reason. What's he doing, bro? They're a bit janky. Let me overtake them. Nice, nice, nice. So couple of things that i've noticed with the game okay we're going to start off with the driving experience with solar crown number one thing i don't like is if you're on a moser or i don't know about any of the wheels drop down in the comments below if you've tried this game on any other wheel um but what happens is right is that when you're off the throttle okay it doesn't apply much force feedback like uh, let me go the throttle it's like nice and light when you apply the throttle it then becomes stiffer for some reason I don't know if I like that or dislike it, but it's kind of annoying. Um, I'll show you now what I mean by that. Like, so if you're steering, that's not me jerking the steering wheel. I apply the pressure, the required force to like keep it where it is. And then because you change gear, it kind of like messes you up a little bit. But I've found just slightly off the throttle when you change gear, kind of eliminates that. But it does the same thing when you shift down. So for instance, we'll turn down this corner here and then accelerate. And then you see that jerkiness? That is because the steering wheel is becoming light and then heavy again. Like, it just doesn't feel that smooth. Now, the other thing I don't like about it is the drifting physics because, like, when you... Like, it, it's all over the place. The force feedback when you... It just doesn't feel great because it snaps. There's no, like, real, like... Let me just go in here. I get. Oh, it opens the gate for me. Nice. Speed bumps. Didn't feel any of those on the steering wheel, but okay. Um, but yeah, so if I try and drift, try and find somewhere. I'm pretty sure there's somewhere in here to drift, right? Get the little handbrake a little bit of a. It just feels really unnatural. You've got to keep your throttle planted. You couldn't do transitions. Try it. You can drift, but... It just feels proper weird. And the other thing I don't like about the game driving physics is um it is only on 360 degrees so i usually play on 900 degrees of steering and at the minute that's like full it feels like gran turismo like locking you to a certain amount of degrees of turning it just feels really janky i think once you get used to it i think you might be able to Get used to it. Okay, mate. Does it have launch control? No, so like I've put my foot on. If I hold the. It just automatically dumps the clutch. There's no launch control. Anyway, moving on to the next point. Um, yeah, the, the, the steering only has 360 degrees. I don't know if that's just they're going to update it in the in the future. I think 
like drifting in the game feels really hard. There's not really much turning circle. Which if you're on like Logitech, like cheaper wheels other than a Mosa, a, a non-direct drive, I think you might feel a little bit better. I don't really know. The next thing I hate the most um, about this game is the, the, the shifter. So I want to be able to use the clutch properly, like a proper manual. I, I think this car is a um, PSG kind of car. I'm pretty sure it's a... Just double check inside the car. Does he move his hands? Yeah, it's flappy paddle look. But anyway... If I wanted to be a manual, I want full control over the car. But what it does is, is that you don't need a clutch and it overrides your clutch. So you, even though you're putting your clutch in, you don't actually need it because it does it on its own. I don't, I don't like that. It just doesn't feel natural anyway moving on the next thing i think i don't like about the solar crown is the number plate why can't we have our own custom number plate we know what we're playing we are playing solar clowns and i, I feel like we should be able to customize our own number plate i feel like that is a letdown it gives it less realistic feeling like who's driving around with this number plate on bro in the uk we have uk plates in japan we have japan plates why is it solar clock we, we just need number plates for this area maybe a customized number plate would be absolutely sick i think that would level up the game totally um the other thing i don't like um is the interior view um it doesn't feel it looks like a potato <laughs> i it's kind of surprising i don't know if it's a triple a game but look at the mirrors the resolution of these mirrors it, it, it is like I'm playing on Nintendo Switch. It's kind of not very good at all. Are you going to open? Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't like the mirrors or the interior. And as you can see, how much we're steering is not correlated to what's happening in the car. I wish they kind of thought about the interior a little bit more. It kind of looks a little bit washed out. It isn't the best experience, if I'm honest. And we are on a 4080 as well. All the graphics are turned up to ultra. Everything's maxed out. This kind of it just kind of looks a bit rubbish. I don't want to slag the game off. I'm trying not to be too negative, but this is a negative video because all the things I do and don't like about the game, and there's more things that I don't like about the game than the things I do like about the game. Okay, which is a really sad thing. I'm really gonna be totally honest. I'm trying to compare it to other games that are alike, which is the the Crew Motor Fest, which is very similar platform. Um, and Forza Horizon 5. Forza is actually significantly better than this game. I wish they could implement some things out of this game into that game to make it perfect, but obviously that'll never happen. The other thing I think they could have done better is, is the traffic density. I don't really think it's a lot. It's, it kind of feels like you're playing on your own a little bit. Oops. Kind of drift. Um, and where's the traffic at? It's dead. Where is the traffic? Maybe there's a setting. I don't know. Um, but I don't see many traffic at all. And if there is traffic, they're doing weird shit. I, like, there's a, there's a part on the road where they just go the wrong way around the roundabout. And I don't really understand it. Like, if you paid £100 for this game, I really feel sorry for you. One thing I do like about it, though, is destructible world. Like, you can drive through fences. You can destroy bushes. You can destroy trees. All the trees are destructible. You know, lamppost, destructible. It's a destructible world. I don't know if the car occurs damage right now. Let me just... That was pretty sick. No, I like Tokyo Drift. Um, but there is no pedestrians as well. So the world and the atmosphere of the, where we are, it kind of feels very derelict. Although populated, but derelict. It's kind of weird sensation this game kind of gives you. It does look good. It's something new. It's something new to play. Um, it's kind of a cross between Need for Speed and Forza, the way it is, in my opinion, um, which is pretty much all car games these days. But what's this guy doing? Like, he pulled out of me, and then, like, the AI, like, at a minute, are like, ugh, where am I going? You know what I mean? I think if you get too close to them, they start, like, glitching out. Oh, like he's brake checking me. Oh, when you get too close, there's a start. <laughs> Game came out today, so there is that to consider. It kind of wraps up this video, guys. 
drop down in the comments below whether you'll be getting this game. I've got to be honest, right? I'm probably going to enjoy it, but I expected more from it, okay? Um, I don't recommend paying full price, so if you can get the game at a discounted rate, then buy it. But if you're going to pay full price, I don't really recommend it. I still think it's going to be quite fun to play. Um, even though it's not the best game in the world, I, I still think it'll be quite fun to play. Um, there is a uh, code down in the description down below where to buy the game for from for half the price. Um, that for me is a bargain. 22 quid for a game. I think it's a bargain. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this game. I don't really know if I like it or not yet. We need to try and, we need to try and play a little bit more. I'll check back in a week, okay? I'm going to play it for a week. Do some live streams. So make sure you go and drop me a follow on Twitch. And do some live streams in this game. And see if I can get used to it. See if I can get to like it. Get some new cars. Test some cars. Play it. And have some fun. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going to pull over. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. And hit subscribe. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.